Hey Aquarius, what's up? I hope you guys are all well. This is going to be a general love reading for mid-December 2021 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation, but of course you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. All right. Aquarius, let's see what is the overall energy for you for the second half of this month. Okay, and we have recognition. Okay, so somebody is recognizing the nature of this connection, okay, that you are in. Could be you, could be your person. Um, it feels like there's some kind of an acknowledgement here. Somebody is acknowledging something within the connection or within the other person, maybe appreciating something that was not appreciated before. So let's get into the reading and see. Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in general readings. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of December. Just have the Four of Swords show itself. <clears throat> so that's healing energy. All right, all right, clouds are acting up, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, so for the situation, we have the Four of Cups crossed by the Hanged Man. All right, in your energy, we have the Five of Swords for your past, or the recent past, uh, the Three of Pentacles for your current energy, and the Knight of Wands for your near future. For another person here, we have the Sun, the Nine of Wands, and judgment there it is that recognition and <clears throat> potential outcome here we have the knight of swords all right so yeah there's been some possibly some taking for granted here all right with the four of cups crossed by the hanged man i feel like somebody was taking the other person for granted or just taking this connection for granted and so therefore things were just feeling um kind of stuck basically um, and also not very happy because of that. In your energy with the Five of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands, hmm. We're going to have to clarify and see what that Five of Swords is, but it could be a little bit of... It's coming in as maybe a little bit of defensiveness in the recent past. It could be that you were betrayed, or maybe there was something that you were doing that... We'll see. Let's just wait, because because I did have <laughs> a message just pop in my mind, but I actually want to clarify first. Um, in your current energy, you're. I feel like you're you're kind of wanting to. To to for things to work out, almost like you're almost almost willing to compromise, but mostly you would want the other person to compromise with you and to kind of just be able to collaborate with you in some way. Definitely some action coming up for you um, in your in your near future. Let's see for them. Well, they felt like everything was happy, right? We also have Leo energy showing up here. Um, but I feel like with the sun card in the recent past, they felt like things were just fine. Everything was happy. At the current time, they're feeling a little bit defensive, possibly having their guard up or just feeling tired by, by whatever it is that may have happened. But ultimately moving towards some kind of a, of a discernment, some kind of, so I, I really feel like this is the recognition here. All right, and we do have action in the potential outcome. So let's, let's clarify. Let's see the Four of Cups. With the hand man. All right, and we have the Knight of Swords showing up again. Let's see, the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. All right, well, this is definitely a situation where there are emotions. There, there is love. There is something pure here. That's for sure. Um, it does feel like this is a deeper connection, right, than your average connection, all right, especially with the higher fit being here. 
but it feels like maybe somebody was, because they were taking this situation for granted, they may have been very, um, kind of like on autopilot, is what I'm getting here with that Knight of Swords. Being like on an autopilot and just, you know, saying whatever, doing whatever, being impulsive, not really thinking things through, even though there is, there is love or emotions, right? There is a deep connection here. Let's see that Five of Swords for you. Yeah, this is what I was getting before. All right, because we have the Eight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Okay, because I was going to say, I feel like that, like you may have taken certain actions or maybe even engaged in certain attitudes. Um, not in a negative way exactly, but they may have been a little bit, um, how do I say this, like dishonest, but, but I understand why though, all right, because if, because if you felt like you were being ignored or that you were being taken for granted, I feel like you may have done certain things, for example, all right, and here's the example showing up in the clarifiers, um, you know, emotionally distancing yourself, you know, doing something to move away from the connection um, in order to help you to, to cope with it or in order to get the other person to come back or to recognize you, right? To get things back to how they were. Possibly even to um, get this person to miss you and to give them a little bit of a hard time. And of course, what this Five of Swords is indicating here is that, you know, that was a little bit dishonest of emotionally distancing yourself or moving away from the connection in hopes that this will get them to, you know, miss you and want to come back and then recognize you. So yeah, that's why it's the Five of Swords, which <clears throat> I'm not judging this, all right? If, if this was your underlying motivation, um, because, yeah, if you're being taken for granted, you can't just, I can understand why you can't just sit around and accept that. You don't deserve that. But I feel like at the same time, because there is a deep connection here, you do feel like, you know, it. you didn't want to fully exit this connection either. So I feel like that is something that maybe you were kind of doing in the past. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying that that's good or bad. It just is what it is. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see that Three of Pentacles. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that might have actually gotten this person to, um, to recognize you or to recognize the connection and to see something that they were missing before because, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm not about mind games, but I can understand this particular um, scenario here. All right, so clarifying the Three of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups, the Hanged Man showing up again, and the Five of Cups. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this led to a separation, all right, this... Um, this activity here in your recent past it may have for some of you and maybe not for others but it feels like at the moment you're you're wanting this person to to pretty much come and actually show you this affection show you whatever it is that they were not showing you before it's like you you want them to be able to work with you on this and to do this but I feel like there's some sadness here um, I feel like at the moment you're feeling like it's not really happening. And it's almost coming in as you actually, um, it's like you want them to save this. You feel like the situation is still savable. And it's, it's like you're trying to help them to save it. But you know that it's them that has to make some kind of a move. It's them who has to take some kind of an action in order for you to still maintain your integrity. And so it's like, you know, you're not going to give in, right? You're not giving in, but it's like 
because this connection is so strong, you're trying to help them to save to save this. It's like you're it, it's almost coming in as for some of you giving them hints as to how they can actually save this and what they can do to make to make it up and to make you feel better and to make you feel appreciated. However, I feel like at, at the moment right now, that's not happening because we still have the hanged man here. And, and of course, also the five of cups. And for their current energy, we have the nine of wands. So yeah, they, they, it's like they're being a little bit resistant to your help with this. <clears throat> so let's see for them, let's see the sun. Again, some of you might be dealing with the Leo. We do also have Taurus showing up. See the sun. All right, the Three of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, this is like coming in as this person just kind of doing their own thing in the in the recent past. Like, I actually feel like even though like they really felt this connection and, you know, they, they felt like everything was okay because they pretty much had what they wanted. They had this, you know, as a given. And so with that Three of Wands and the Six of Swords, it's like, yeah, it's it's almost like keeping their distance and looking at like other things here, really focusing on their own self. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, it's just coming in as this person being a little bit oblivious to what was really going on and how you felt. the nine of wands in their current energy. It's also coming in as this person trying was trying to avoid conflict. But it's like they were trying to avoid conflict. Almost like they knew something was up with you, right? When you were um, pulling away. But they were just kind of like ignoring that and just focusing again like okay yeah you know we're each independent kind of like using that as an excuse to their own self okay interesting all right so for the nine of wands we have the lovers all right so gemini energy showing up um the king of swords and the king of pentacles Well, they're definitely still feeling the connection with you. And I feel like th like currently this is when they're they're realizing that something isn't right. They're realizing that okay, um something's going on here. And because they can I feel like they're really um picking up on your energy of how much you want them to save this or how much you want this to work out. And because of that, they're being, it's like they're, they're reacting with resistance, almost like automatically, again. It's like automatically just this resistance kicking in. I feel like it's like an ego thing. Even though they do want this connection, right? They do want this connection, but it's like ego's kicking in. Um, and even though, you know, it's like they want to take action, they want to do something here. They want to save this, but it's like this automatic resistance where it's like they can't even control it, which of course, if they put in that effort, they can, but it, they're having a hard time controlling that resistance. All right, so let's see what's coming up. I feel like that Knight of Wands is actually you being like, all right, bye. <laughs> so let's see, Knight of Wands. The 
Five of Wands, <clears throat> the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. All right, you know what's interesting with this is that look at both of, both of these images here, because these images are they're, they don't really follow the traditional um, Rider Waite um, images, but it's like this person is well, cat person is <clears throat> carrying luggage and pretty much leaving, right? And so is this one holding that bag and like bouncing out. And I feel like that's kind of what you're doing, even though it's like reluctantly with this five of wands, like you don't want to. <clears throat> but it's like your feelings are conflicted. Your feelings are conflicted here and you don't know what to do because you want, you want this, right? Nine of cups, I mean, that's wish fulfillment. You want this, but at the same time, you want there to be a change. You don't want to be underappreciated. And so I feel like with this Nine of Wands, you're actually like taking some action away from, from this connection. But again, you're, it's like your emotions are a little bit conflicted. So it might not be, um, and because it is the Knight of Wands who isn't very stable, um, yeah, it's like, you're not very decisive about it, but you're still doing it. This does appear to affect them though. This does appear to affect them um, pretty much. Let's see this judgment for them. Yeah, look at this. The Three of Swords, all right, heartbreak, pain. The Empress, because of you, standing up for yourself and the world, all right, a completion to a cycle or, you know, having learned a lesson, right? It, it, like this lesson is coming full cycle or full circle, whatever the expression is. It's like successfully having learned a lesson here. And it's gonna happen through heartbreak. They need to feel that heartbreak apparently in order to, um, to fully learn this lesson here and see you as this empress and actually treat you as this empress. So that's the energy that they are stepping into. Now, whether they actually you know, show that in the 3D and physically follow through, with that, that's a different that's a different story, and it's going to be different for for each different um, situation here. But let's see. I mean, they're definitely stepping into this energy, though. Seeing you as that empress, right? Having respect for you, being able to appreciate you. It's like you know. I mean, it's a very classic type of a thing, but it's like you know, you don't really fully appreciate what you have until you lose it, and I feel like that's just what's happening here. So let's see the Knight of Swords, because there's definitely action being taken for the potential outcome here. All right, we have the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and then the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so, well, there's going to be a lot of pain first, at least for this person. I, I think you're, you're faring off a little bit better. Again, don't forget that the roles can be reversed. All right, this is um, this person feeling a lot of loneliness, sadness, left out in the cold because you're the one walking away here. So it is going to feel like an ending to them. But then right after that, there's that three of pentacles, which is what you've been asking for all along, right? For them to just work with you, to put in that effort. And so that's what this is moving towards with that knight of swords here. So Aquarius, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, it's okay. And let's see your final message. And we have like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. And that definitely does not mean that you need to be um, you know, submissive or allowing people to take advantage of you, okay? Just take the message as it resonates. Maybe be more loving towards your own self so that you can attract that as well. And I feel like that's exactly what you are doing here, all right? By walking away from something that is um, not being appreciative of you. So yeah, those were your messages, Aquarius. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.